Okay, so you're ready to turn $50 into $500 using Google Ads. Welcome back guys. This is part two to this video. Last time I did this, I got some amazing feedback and what I actually did was I showed you how to go out there and promote ClickBank products on Google Ads to turn $50 into $500. Now, today in this video, I wanna show you how you can turn, again, $50 using Google Ads into 500, but instead of using ClickBank this time, I'm gonna show you how you can do this for nearly every niche, every product out there, so no matter what affiliate network, no matter what product you wanna promote, this is gonna be applicable to you. So with that being said, we're gonna get straight into this video, straight into the method. Real quick before I do, I wanna announce affiliate marketing course winner from last video. If your name is right here, congratulations, just one one copy of my affiliate market course. Go ahead and email me here to claim your course. Guys and girls, if you'd also like to enter and win, I give away one copy of my course or video. All you have to do to enter for this video is comment down below and drop a like. With that being said, guys, let's get straight into this Google ad method. Okay, welcome back, guys. So like I said, we're gonna be using Google ads for this method. Now, here's the difference. The hard part, I think, about advertising is, number one, finding the product. And number two, finding the angle that you're gonna promote that product in. Because for me, I do affiliate marketing, so I promote other people's products for a commission. So if you come onto my computer right here, you can see that I like to use this software called Social Ad Scout. And what, basically this is just a huge swipe file of all kinds of ads. And what I like about best about this is it's kind of made specifically for affiliates because you can actually go on the search criteria, right? And you can go through all the tracking platforms, right? So maybe you're a dropshipper and you're trying to find Shopify ads or Magento ads, uh, Teespring ads, right? But if you're an affiliate like me, what you can do is you can just add all of these ad networks to the criteria, right? So I can um, click on Biz Profits. I can click down here. Um, I can even do uh, ClickBank if I want, right? And now I can go down and what I wanna do is I wanna find video ads, right? I wanna find video ads, since we're doing Google ads, one of the greatest ways to advertise on Google ads right now, in my opinion, is using YouTube ads, right? There's so many people watching YouTube, a lot of advertisers aren't there yet. So this is a good opportunity for people like you and me to go out there and advertise on YouTube and take advantage of some of the low cost per clicks and some of the conversions we can get on there. And as I said, you wanna put the creative on video because these are videos that we can either download and use ourselves for our own ad, or we can go out there and create another ad very similar to that. And what's best about this is you don't have to show your own face on the ad, if you don't want to, right? If you want to, sure, go ahead. But I'm gonna show you a way and a software you can use that you don't have to actually um, put your face on camera. So we're gonna get to that in a second, but this is kind of the criteria you wanna use. Um, also, I like to make sure my ads, all the ads I see are running for at least 14 days. That just tells me that they're somewhat profitable, right? If someone's running an ad for over two weeks, chances are they're probably making money from it. So anyways, I'm gonna press update results here and what's gonna happen is you're gonna see all these different ads that come up. Now, like I said, these are all video ads being advertised on these kind of networks, right? They're promoting products on different networks like these, right? So there's gonna be a range of products there's gonna be a range of different niches on here. So let's go ahead and click on the first one right here. And what's that's gonna do, it's gonna open up in a new tab. And as you can see, right, this is a very simple ad. One of the most simple ads I've ever seen. As you can see, it's been very really effective. It has 7.9 thousand likes, 787 comments, and 4.5 thousand shares. So let's take a look at it, right? It says dog owners, these dog food ingredients must be avoided. And if we click on the ad, as you can see, right, this is just a simple video. And as, as you can see, right, if we download this video, we're not gonna get copyrighted um, because of how simple this video is. And what's cool about this is we can even run an ad like this on YouTube, right? And what's even better is we can extend this ad out. We can make it 30 seconds long. We can make it a minute long, right? All we have to do is we can go on a simple software like Rocket TM Right, and you can see I used to use the software a lot for uh, when I did marketing for chiropractors. So you can see one example of my ads. Um, and again, this is 100% created just using this software. So if we click on the video, as you can see, right, it's just super simple. Um, last month we helped 103 Huntington Beach residents find relief from body aches, back, neck pain, right? So as you can see, it's just B-roll and then text coming up. And again, 
This is super easy to make on this Rocket TM. It took me around 10 minutes or so, right? We could do a similar video, right? But just make it about dog owners, right? And the messaging of this ad, as we can see right here, is these dog ingredients must be avoided. So chances are we're probably gonna sell dog food for this kind of offer. And if you're wondering like, okay, how do I actually be an affiliate for dog food, right? We can just go on Google here. We can type in dog food affiliate programs and we can find all the affiliate programs right here. So obviously if we come to this ad and we actually learn more about this, and as you can see, it just takes us over to a blog post where he has some content and we're probably gonna uh, be lifted out to some affiliate links that are related to dog food products, right? So that is how he is making money on this ad right here. So as you can see, right, super simple what you can do with some of these videos, right? Especially if you don't wanna run Facebook ads, because for me, I'm not a huge fan of Facebook ads, to be honest. I like YouTube ads more. I like the Google ad platform more. So what I can do is I wanna just find successful ads on Facebook, right? Figure out how to turn them into a video and then go run them on YouTube ads because chances are, there's gonna be no other affiliates running those ads on YouTube because you know the typical person, right, would see this ad on Facebook and they would go run the exact same ad on Facebook, right? So if you wanna be smarter, you wanna get a little bit ahead of the crowd, then what I would do is try to model what's successful on Facebook, right, and try to figure out a way to bring it to YouTube and see how that works for you, right? You can test it with $5 a day. You don't need a huge budget to get started with this. So anyways, that's just one example. If we go back here, Right, what we really wanna do is just keep adding new affiliate offers uh, or affiliate networks to our criteria and it's just gonna slowly pull up more and more ads and what we wanna do is we just wanna reverse engineer the whole campaign, right? First step is we find a successful ad and then we kinda see the, the messaging they have and then we wanna go find an offer for that ad and if it all checks out and we wanna start that kinda campaign like this dog owner campaign, then we can go out and build the pre-sale page on a website builder like Builderall. Then we can go out and create the actual ad using this Rocket TM software or if you just wanna create it on your own, right? Then we can go out and start the actual ad campaign. So really, you know, a lot of this strategy, especially with advertising is research, right? Figuring out what you want to do. And especially as a beginner, right? You have no idea which product you want to promote or anything like that. That's kind of the hard part is getting started. So there's a lot of research that goes into this. Again, I'm just kind of trying to explain everything you guys, so you guys really understand this. So anyways, guys, let's go back here. Um, I found a few more um, examples on here, so let's go to another one. So this one's more about beauty. As we can see, uh, as if we read the description, this is an Instagram ad. It says, bye-bye expensive facials. Uh, dermatologists have found that adding this one simple step to one's morning routine creates beautiful radiant skin, blah, 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 right? So as you can see, there's a video here. If we watch this video, So as we can see here, it's just something super simple, right? It's just showing B-roll and words, right? That's really all this video is doing. And this is a perfect example of one I wanna show you, right? Notice the call to action. It's not specific to a product. It's not specific to a brand, right? So we could actually, we could technically, this isn't you know legal advice or anything, but we could download this video and use it ourselves because I don't see any really copyrighted content on here. I don't see any brand names. I don't see any specific products that's promoting, right? So this is a video that we can actually go out there and use, right? Or if we want, we can go out there, download this video. We can plug it into our helpful software, right? And this is a perfect example of how we could just change it up a little, right? Cut out a few of the scenes, add some new text in, right? Whatever we want to do. But that's an example of a great video ad for a specific offer or a specific niche like beauty. But as you can see, this ad is not tailored to a specific offer, so it can really be ran to almost any product inside of the beauty niche, right? So this is a great example of an ad that we can go out there and use on YouTube ads, right? Take it from Facebook, go put it on YouTube, right? And if you're wondering like, okay, who'd you're, who you're gonna target on YouTube ads? Well, what you can do is, as you know, YouTube has the second biggest search engine on the internet. 
So what we can do is anyone who types in um, how to get clear skin, beauty tips, beauty hacks, right? Facial hacks, right? What we can do is we can run our ad to anyone typing in those keywords. So chances are someone who's typing in beauty hacks is going to be interested in this kind of offer, in this kind of ad. Chances are they're going to click on the ad and hopefully buy the product, which is going to make you a commission. So that's how this whole game works, if you didn't know, obviously, right? But let's go to one more example here. And also this software, it kind of shows you like different ages you could target, um, the genders they're running it to, the days running. So this ad has been running for three months and two weeks. That's a good sign, it's a profitable ad. Uh, let's go to one more example here. And we can see this one, problem bro. Um, adults aged 50 through 80 with no life insurance are getting a big payday. And as you can see, this is kind of just a random picture. Now again, this is where you're gonna have to put a little bit more of your mental energy into this kind of ad. But if you wanna bring this ad to YouTube, right? You wanna find a successful ad, bring it over to a different platform. You got a nice blue ocean, no other advertisers um, advertising this kind of ad, right? Well, what we can do is we can take, you know, some of the messaging on here, right? Just like this beauty ad, it had some B-roll, it had some text, right? And again, we can make this with using a software like Rocketium. So for example, if I create a new video on the software here, they have different templates for us. So we can just go, let's for, for example, let's do news and media, right? So we can do like some breaking news ad. And obviously we can run this on YouTube, right? So we're gonna create a video with this template. So as we can see, this is kind of how we edit the software. So we can change the music, the logo, the aspect ratio, but this is where we really change like the actual, you know, text on here. So for example, instead of saying, you know, two men, two people were killed and nine others, blah, 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 right? What we can do is we can just, you know, tailor the message of our ad. Right, so the first part of this ad, I believe, was uh, this one right here. So attention adults age 50 through 80, right? So that could be our first slide on the video. That can take up the five seconds long. So all we do is we copy this, right? We put it in the text. So you say attention, attention adults age uh, 50 through 80. And as you can see, we can make it a little bit bigger here. And as you can see, this is the first slide, right? Obviously we can change this breaking news. We can change any of this how we want. But as you can see, we would just slowly make our ad kind of like this beauty offer did, uh, where was it right here, right? As we can see, the first part is just a little bit of B-roll related to the niche and then some text, right? And then boom, the next part will show you how she accidentally, so notice how the ad is kind of a story and it kind of just walks you through different slides, right? That's kind of what I'm trying to say. Make something like that and as you can see, we can do this for pretty much any niche out there, any offer, and you can go and run it for yourself. And plus, hey, even if you want to use this software, you even want to use this information you learned in this video to go out there and run ads like this for local businesses, right? Local chiropractors, local gyms, local dentists, right? All kinds of local niches that you can go out there and run these kind of ads for, right? Again, that's what's cool about advertising and marketing is really once you learn the basics, once you learn the principles, right? And once you learn how to actually do it, right? It all is kind of the same for every niche, every industry, really every business out there. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can take action on what you learned today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer you. With that being said, guys, to really take away from this video, one of the best ways to go out there and turn your hard-earned money, turn $50 into $500 using Google ads, using Facebook ads, whatever you want to use, is to try to find successful ads right, and put your own spin on it and try to figure out how to make it better. Or better yet, find successful ads on one platform and take them to another platform, right? That is one of the best ways to go out there and make extremely successful ads, especially as a beginner when you don't really know copywriting or marketing or kind of what to say on your ads. So anyways, this is kind of the strategy that you would use to do that, to go out there and find your ads, find your offers and all that good stuff. If you guys want a more technical lesson of how to use Google Ads, of how to actually set up your ad, all the click by click tutorial stuff, I will leave a part one to this video where I actually show the full tutorial where I actually go into Google Ads and set up the campaign. 
That way you have a tutorial on actually how to set up these ads on Google. So that being said guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and a comment down below. With that being said guys, as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.